Justin David Sullivan, Hi. who is currently starring on Broadway in Anne Juliet, which is a story that asks the question, what would happen if Juliet didn't kill herself and instead went to Paris with her friends? Yes. Is that a perfect being summary? I think so. <laughs> so you play May, who is Juliet's best friend. May is non-binary, one of the few most hist historical non-binary characters on Broadway. Yes. And you're also non-binary. What has that experience been like? Oh my gosh, truly a dream come true. I think um, for so much of my life, I just wondered like what kind of role I, I saw myself in. And in, in the traditional musical theater canon, um, there wasn't a million roles that I was like, that's perfect for me. And um, there are so many layers to the character of May that I identify with, and just the show. I mean, it's so exuberant, you know, it's so such a fun, joyful. Uh, yeah, joyful pop show. The stars aligned so perfectly, and getting to portray and represent non-binary people on Broadway is like, it's so special. Have you gotten a response from people who've seen you, like after the show, or people DM'd you, or reached out? Yeah, so many people have said to me, like, I've never felt represented on stage before. It just fills me with so much joy. I'm like having um, children. Right <laughs> yeah, it's incredible, it's incredible. And I think that is like the power of theater. Oh yeah, this is a big pop musical. Yes. Max Martin jukebox <sighs> musical. I mean, legend. Your character gets to sing, I'm not a girl, not yet a woman. Correct. <laughs> as well as Katy Perry's I Kissed a Girl, which is flipped to I Kissed a Boy. Yes. I can't imagine picking one favorite number from the show because every single number is so fun and huge and wonderful. Literally. But pick your favorite number. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Well, that setup really helped me. Thank you so much. You get a million dollars if you pick your favorite okay. number. Okay. Well, all right. Well, I got a favorite number ready on deck. Our act one finale, which is it's Oh, nice. it's. I mean. That number is like beyond epic, and I really wish I was in it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm not. Are you the only one not in it? I feel like everyone Mel is. And I, yes, Mel <laughs> and I are the only two not in it, which is like, huh. <laughs> I really enjoy having a nice little break yeah. you know, before intermission, but if I could be in that number, I totally would. Just a little cameo, even. I'll like just pop out from the wing. And just jump on the stage and wing. do a dance. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and do you feel like playing a little game? I am so down, let's do it. Okay, so we're here at Club Jazz. Like the club uh, that Juliet and May go to in Paris. Okay. Um, basically, these are all Shakespeare lines. Dead. So we're gonna pick out from these. Okay. And then we have to look at the camera and say it like we're at the club trying to hit on someone. Ooh, my high school English teacher would be very proud of me in this moment. Perfect, let's shout out it. to them. Ooh. You can start. So, let's do it. My bounty is as boundless as the sea. My love as deep, the more I give to thee, the more I have, for both are infinite. Oh! Oh my god. This okay. is too much. <laughs> I'm going home with you. <laughs> Please. Okay, I'll try one. All right. It won't be, I'm not a Broadway <laughs> star, so. Okay. <laughs> Doubt that the stars are fire. Mm. Doubt that the sun doth move is a AIDS. Doubt truth to be a liar, but never doubt I love. Never. You hear that? <laughs> never doubt I love. <laughs> 